All right, this is Dr. R again, looking at some epi questions. This one's going to start off again. Um, if you want to look at the lead-in, this would be the lead-in. What type of health research is the researcher conducting? Or what I usually do by looking at the answer choices, going through the answer choices, so I know that these are different kinds of research. And then I would go back to the question stem. Some people are going to want to try to answer the question directly. What type of health research, research is the research conducting? Well, you'd have to go back to the question stem because this doesn't give you enough. It's not a direct one jump question. So a public health researcher, um, I'm going to make sure that that is quite important, public health researcher, because what I'm starting to think is this might be an epidemiologic study because if you are a public health researcher you are mostly looking at populations or cohorts and you're thinking in that realm so let's continue on our public health researcher is conducting a study on the effectiveness of a new smoking sensation program so there is a smoking sensation program oh and it's in a community so that's important. So community makes me start thinking about population or cohort of people. The researcher wants to determine the program's impact on smoking rates. So that's important, impact on smoking rates, and assess whether the program is reaching the target population. There's that term again, population. So putting all of this together, the first thing that's coming to my head is population, community, public health, a, a program within a community. I'm thinking off the top of my head this might be epi, but let's take a look. All right, so basic science research. Basic science research really looks at the fundamental mechanisms of disease. So you might see this in animal research or uh, uh, micro, microbiological research. They call it bench research um, sometimes. Um, but you can also see this in animal trials, so it's not really on a bench. Um, I've been involved in some studies where we were putting in uh, pig valves into different animals to see whether or not they would actually work. Um, and so that would be basic science research. Um, and then there's um, uh, clinical research. And so we talked about this in an earlier question. And the clinical research is looking at things like um, interventions, treatments, medications. They're looking at randomized controlled trials or maybe a cohort study. Um, and so oftentimes that's a clinical research. And then there's epidemiologic research, which often looks at the distribution of disease in a population or maybe some social determinants of health um, in a population, things like that, or maybe even programs, right? So trying to impact the smoking rates on this population in a local community through using some kind of a program. So, so far, this one's looking pretty good to me. Services research, that's looking about the delivery of healthcare. Well, maybe this is looking, this could be the delivery of healthcare, right? So if we were delivering the smoking sensation program to this target population, how could we better deliver this smoking sensation program to improve the impact? Not, does a smoking sensation program have an impact? So that's a difference. So if it's service research, it might say, how do we improve this delivery of this program to make an impact? But that's not what it's saying. It's actually studying the effectiveness of a smoking sensation program on the impact. So again, not services research, because it's not looking at its organization or the delivery of, 
And then there's systems research, right? That complex system. And this isn't really breaking down a system. This is just looking at overall at a high level. We have this target population within a community. We're giving them a smoking sensation program. And what we're hoping is we're hoping to decrease the impact of smoking rates. Um, and so then for me, this sounds like it relates to epidemiologic, and that is the correct choice, which is epidemiologic research. All right.